This is coverage you can count on. WGAL News 8 Today starts now. Advocates for education from across the Commonwealth, along with members of the state legislature, are going to rally here at the Capitol to address the shortage of teachers across Pennsylvania. Donating shoes to support breast cancer? I'll tell you if there's a drop-off location near you. Good morning, everyone. It is 6.01 on this Tuesday morning, a warm Tuesday indeed. I'm Regina Ahn. I'm Matt Barcaro, Chief Meteorologist Christine Ferreira is here. Talk about this warm day so, we're oh, going to yeah. have. It's going to feel great. <laughs> Remember the 40s last week? Oh, no. I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want none of that. None of that this week. We're talking about 70s today, which is going to be our warmest day of the week and warmest day since March 14th, where we also hit 76 degrees. Here's a look at our Storm Team Live Radar Network. You can see some high clouds coming in from the west. They'll make a pretty sunrise. 48 degrees in Chambersburg, 39, Lebanon, 42 in Lancaster. A little chilly. Yeah, you need the jacket this morning, but not for long. Look at this quick warm up in our 12 hour forecast. We're at 52 at 9, 60s at 11, and then 72 degrees early this afternoon. We do hit 76 for our high though. Now there could be a stray shower or thunderstorm later. More clouds toward evening, but overall nice looking day. Look at that warm up. 40s, 50s, <laughs> yeah. 60s, 70s goes These up to the ladder. Going up. Yeah. And are you going to be planning today then maybe? Not today. Not, not yet. Today. Not you yet. You just never know. It's, it might dip down again to freezing, so oh not gosh. quite yet. Not some Mother's right. Day. We're exactly. going to follow Matt's yeah. orders. All right. <laughs> and if you're headed out this morning at 602, you should be looking pretty good. We do have one crash there you can see on the map in Lancaster County. This one is in East Coast Calico Township on Denver Road and North Reading Road. So if you're headed out in that area, uh, just watch out for that. We're all also keeping an eye on this tractor trailer that has been overturned in Cumberland County on Route 581. Uh, so we'll uh, keep an eye on these two for you and just uh, make sure that those are progressing in a good way so you can get your destination safe and sound. York County also looking busy this morning on Interstate 83 and some drive times for you on 30 eastbound, mostly in the green York to Columbia, a little slow there at 15 minutes. We'll have another check for you coming up in just a bit. This has been a Lancaster Toyota traffic report. Addressing a shortage of teachers and a lack of teachers of color here in Pennsylvania. That is being discussed today at the state capitol. And News 8's Jay Scott Smith is live at the capitol now with those details. Good morning, Jay. Good morning, Matt and Regina. Good morning, everybody. And yes, we are here right in front of the state capitol where later this morning, that group of teachers as well as education advocates are going to indeed rally to try to get more money put into making sure that takes care of this shortage of teachers here in the Commonwealth, as well as mentioned, a shortage of teachers of color. Now, the group is asking for $10 million from the governor's proposed budget to go toward funding what are called grow your own programs and $75 million in state funding for student teacher stipends to help reverse the declining trend of teachers coming into the workforce. Now, they're also focusing on the need to attract more teachers of color here to the Commonwealth. And the numbers are pretty glaring. 10 years ago, back in 2014, nearly 20,000 new teachers were entering Pennsylvania's classrooms each year. It's now down to as little as 5,000, with less than 7% of those teachers being teachers of color. As of today, 94% of teachers here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania are white, compared to just 37% of the students, which is one of the largest racial disparities in the United States. Now, in his budget address back in February, Governor Shapiro called for $10 million for the Educator Talent Recruitment Account and another $450,000 to support the Talent Recruitment Office. And the proposed budget would also increase funding for student teacher stipends by $5 million. That'll bring it to a total of $15 million, that also includes an additional $5 million for professional development for educators as well as for school leadership. Now, this rally is going to start at 11 a.m. And as mentioned, it's going to be a group of advocates as well as teachers, as well as members from both sides of the aisle in the state legislature. And they will also have students from across the Commonwealth of all different ages as well, all here rallying for more teachers in schools. At the state capitol in Harrisburg, I'm Jay Scott Smith for WGAL News 8. All right, thanks, Jay. For the second time in two weeks, taxpayer funding is being withheld from the Lancaster Public Library System. Last night, Mountville Borough Council members made the same decision as East Hempfield Township supervisors did to withhold funding from the Mountville Public Library until new terms can be made about how those funds will be used. This comes after a controversial drag queen story hour was scheduled at the downtown library before it was canceled then I will make a motion that we defer um, Mountville's 2024 donation to the Lancaster Area Library until such time as agreement <clears throat> can be put in place between 
a committee of the library and a committee here of the borough. I'm worried about our funding, especially because we just lost funding from Hemfield. Um, I We're already not a very financially stable library to begin with. Libraries are in trouble and we need all the funding we can get. So next steps for the Mountainville situation. There will be a committee from the borough that will be meeting with the library to talk about what's next. Police say road rage ended in one person being shot at in Wormsleyburg, Cumberland County. It happened around 340 yesterday afternoon in the area of North Front and Stella Streets. West Shore Regional Police say multiple shots were fired, but did not say anyone was actually shot. Two people, a man and a woman, were taken into custody. York police are investigating a shooting that wounded a 27 year old man. Police say officers on patrol heard multiple shots near St. Paul Street and Roosevelt Avenue around 3.30 Sunday morning. Police say the victim was targeted. He is expected to recover. No arrests have been made. Maryland Governor Wes Moore plans to meet with members of Congress this week to talk about rebuilding the collapsed Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. Moore said that he'll be meeting with leaders to let them know that this is not a partisan issue but what he describes as a patriotic responsibility to support one of the country's great economic engines. Moore has also said the state remains focused on supporting the families of the workers who died in the collapse and bringing them closure. If you look at the Port of Baltimore, we have operations that are taking place via truck and via rail. It's just the, it's the maritime operations that have come to a halt. It is an aggressive timeline, but we are going to work around the clock to make sure that we hit this timeline. So the current goal is to fully restore service to the Port of Baltimore by the end of May. But before things can fully get back to normal, crews are working on opening temporary channels. Electric vehicle users in Pennsylvania may soon see a yearly fee to help fund road projects. While Democrats and Republicans both agree on wanting to institute the fee on e-cars and some hybrid vehicles, they aren't settled on a price. The goal of the fee is to catch up on lost revenue that's not coming from the state's gas tax. Representative Ed Nielsen is proposing an annual flat fee of $125 for electric vehicles starting next year. It would gradually increase year after year to $225 in 2029, and that rate would be adjusted for inflation each year after that. At the end of the day, we're going to have the full fee enacted sooner or later. Uh, at the later is when we're going to have more electrical vehicles out there. That's the hope. And Representative Nielsen's plan isn't the only one. A Republican lawmaker in the Senate wants to see that fee set higher in the range of $290 a year. It is 608 and a shoe collection drive is underway right now to help fight against breast cancer. And News 8's Gabrielle Thomas is live at one of those drop-off locations in Lancaster County with ways that you can help. Good morning, Gabrielle. Good morning, Matt and Regina. Well, Pledge to Pink Foundation, a nonprofit organization that helps raise money for breast cancer, is hosting a shoe drive. Now, they have coordinators all across the U.S., but a local coordinator right here in Lancaster County lost a family member, and she's been setting up boxes across the Susquehanna Valley for you to donate shoes to raise money for breast cancer. Now, the organization requests all different types of sizes and styles of the shoes, but they'll only be accepting gently worn used and new shoes. Each bag holds 25 pairs of shoes, and the organization earns money based on the total weight. Pledge to Pink has partnered with another organization that gives shoes to families in other countries who are in need. Proceeds from the sales of the do from the sales of the shoes donated are used to feed and clothe families in other countries. Now, according to the CDC, breast cancer is the most common cancer among women in the U.S. The Pennsylvania Breast Cancer Coalition says 38 women are diagnosed with breast cancer each day across the state. But when detected early, doctors say women have a 90 percent chance of surviving. We spoke with the shoe organizer and she can't fathom losing another person to breast cancer. I meet more and more people every single day who are fighting this fight, you know, and just every day I go online and, and somebody's lost another friend to breast cancer. And it's just one of those things that I think the cure is it's out there and it's not that far and it's so important to get there. If you'd like to help fight the cure by donating shoes out of your closet, there are boxes all over the Susquehanna Valley for you to donate. And we have those drop-off locations on our website, WGAL.com. 
Live here in Strasburg, Gabrielle Thomas, WGAL News 8. All right, thanks for that, Gabrielle. And let's check back in with Christine about our forecast today. All right, we're taking a look at the MoCast because that grass is sure growing after all of the rain yesterday, or last week rather, and all of the warmth that we've had over the past few days. So today's high is 76. It's our warmest day of the week. Great day to get outdoors and do some yard work. Tomorrow, there'll be a few showers around 68 degrees. And on Thursday, I think we'll see some periods of rain, which may be heavy at times. We're still working on the details on that. So we'll be monitoring for any flooding concerns toward the end of the week. Yeah, more rain. We'll let you know what the weekend holds in my 10 day forecast. All right, and we are following this overturned tractor trailer in Cumberland County on Route 581 on ramp exit 5B. We'll let you know if this is impacting your morning commute and another crash in Lancaster County.